let's take a look and see how we can make Visual Studio a little bit tidier uh, when we open solutions and when we start Visual Studio. Uh, kind of the equivalent of giving Visual Studio that fresh car smell every time we use it. So there's a couple of settings. There's an extension. I want to show you a few things. And the benefit of doing this is also that we're getting better performance out of Visual Studio. So it will actually start up faster. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here I have Visual Studio, and I'm going to open a solution that I already have. And notice how it's going to take a little while here in the very first time I open it. And we see that it remembered what documents I had opened the last time, which one was selected. And it remembered the um, scroll position and uh, uh, what's collapsed and, and expanded in Solution Explorer. Um, so this is all state that was stored from last time I had the solution open. And it's by default being restored the next time I open it. And that's what we saw right here. Uh, but you can imagine that that actually takes a little bit of um, uh, CPU cycles uh, to restore everything to its former state. And, um, you know, I like to, when I open a solution, that I have, like, no documents open and I don't see, uh, I don't care where I was the last time I used this solution in the Solution Explorer. I don't care what the what folders I had expanded and all that. In fact, I would like them not to be expanded so that I have sort of a fresh uh, start. Okay, so that's what I meant by the fresh car smell. We keep sort of Visual Studio fresh that way. Uh, it doesn't remember that state. Now, this might not be a scenario you prefer, but it's one that I prefer. Um, but I'm going to show you how you can uh, change this default behavior. So if you open Tools Options and you go to the Projects and Solutions node, you can see we have two settings. One of them is called Reopen Documents on Solution Load. Nope, we don't want... Visual Studio to do that, so I'm going to uncheck that. The next one is Restore Solution Explorer Project Hierarchy State on Solution Load. So that's the thing in Solution Explorer where I don't care if... Uh, I actually don't want any of my nodes to be expanded. So just give me sort of uh, the collapse state. So I'm going to uncheck that as well so we don't restore that state. So let me close the solution. And let's open it again and see if you notice a difference. There we go. So it was now a minimal uh, effort for Visual Studio to open my solution here because it didn't have to open the documents. And one thing about opening documents is that it now has to start the language services and all that. If, it, if it's a C-sharp file, it has to uh, start the C-sharp language service. And so it actually does a lot of things under the hood. But by unchecking these two checkboxes, uh, we make sure that it doesn't do any of that. Not until I go in and I open the file I want to edit or look at. So <clears throat> that's a really simple way to keep Visual Studio fresh and clean and tidy uh, and at the same time get some performance benefits. And this is on the solution level. Now there's a thing we can do on the um, sort of uh, the shell level, Visual Studio itself, the global level, which is um, has to do with tool windows. So if you're like me, you use different tool windows for different scenarios. And sometimes you end up having like a bunch of tool windows here docked at the bottom next to the arrow list and the output window. Um, and sometimes uh, they're visible. So in this case, um, maybe the output window is visible, maybe the arrow list. Uh, and maybe, I, you know, Team Explorer is the one that's visible when I open Visual Studio. But usually that's not what I'm interested in. Usually, I kind of want to go back to my default when I start Visual Studio, which is just show me Solution Explorer and maybe maybe also Error List. Like, those are the two that I care about the most, but actually, just Solution Explorer. So that helps me, um, if I can do that when Visual Studio starts, that helps me keep Visual Studio nice and tidy. And um, there's a performance benefit here in that Visual Studio does not have to create all those tool windows. So what I've done is that I've installed an extension that's called Reset Tool Windows. So you can get that if you go to uh, the Extension Manager dialog and just search for Reset Tool Window. You can do that. 
And um, if we go into Tools Options, we can configure it under Environment, Startup, and Reset Tool Windows. So in here, you can see that by default, what this extension will do is that it will auto-hide all the windows that are uh, visible, that are docked. And it will only maintain the ones docked that I have specified here. So here's a list of like known tool windows that are fast, um, that are kind of safe to uh, to use. And so um, that's why this is the short list. So only Solution Explorer is uh, one I've is set to true by default. But I can say, show me Solution Explorer and show me error lists, let's say. So both of those are true. Uh, but I'm actually going to go with the default here. So now, let's see here. Solution Explorer is not visible. And I have error list and output window up here, which I don't want the next time I start Visual Studio. I just want Solution Explorer. That's what I just configured. So let's restart Visual Studio. I'm going to close it down and start it back up. And now you can see we're back to a, a very clean, fresh car smell in Visual Studio. Solution Explorer is the only thing that's uh, docked and visible, and everything else has been auto-hidden, and I can very easily uh, dock them manually when I need them. But I can configure this uh, to my liking. And so these are three different things, two checkboxes and an extension, that allow me to keep Visual Studio fresh and clean and tidy, as well as give me a boost in performance.